Okay, so I wanted to talk about single leg squats, what I was looking at in your squat, sorry if you hear my dogs, but when you were squatting, aside from the balancing, which I also have to touch something, so when you are learning how to do it, what I want you to think about is watch your knee placement over your second toe is a good way to think about it. Make sure everything is facing forward, so make sure you're not rotated out or in. You want everything nice and forward. Do it in front of the mirror if you need to. If you've got a full length one, put your hands on top of your hips and they should be level, right? So like one shouldn't be way higher than the other. You wanna actually think about using that glute med on the side that I was showing you. And as you're going down, you wanna make sure your knee doesn't go in, right? So when most people that I see that are having issues like this and show a little bit of hip weakness, um, as they do a single leg squat, they're kind of going in and out. I'm exaggerating, yours was not that bad. But you don't want it to buckle in and then come back out. You want to keep it nice and in line with your second toe the whole time, right? And then you also want to think about your hips staying level. So if I don't actually engage this hip, the glute med part of it, if I'm only doing quad and butt, like on the back part of the glutes, if I was going down, this hip would be higher because I'm no longer engaging here. So if you're here and you're doing a squat, it turns into all quad, and I'm trying, and it is really hard to avoid my knee going in. So gotta fire the side of it, think about it a lot. Sit in your butt back, I'll show you from the side. You wanna think about hinging at your hips, so sit in your booty back, going down, coming back up. When people master this, eventually I have them do this like higher so that you're kind of getting hip flexure on both, but don't worry about the other leg for now. You can go front, back, doesn't matter, but you want to be watching that kneecap. When you're doing them, hips and kneecap. Hands are level, kneecaps stand kind of right over that second toe. A little bit of wobble here and there because the balance is fine. You just want to avoid that knee going in. Where I feel the burn is a hefty burn the side of my hip. To know if you're on your glute med, you want to think hip, this is the top of my hip bone. When I come down a little bit and I rotate my leg back and forth, when I rotate out, so like this motion, that muscle that pops up is your glute med. That's the one you should be using in that exercise.